Good morning, brothers and sisters. I'm going to try to keep this one short. I just wanted to, to share something with you. There's, um, and again, I'm not encouraging you to watch this at all. I just, um, I wanted to, to share a, a clip that I found here from a movie that's currently out right now. It's called The War of Tomorrow, I think is what it is. And the premise of the film is that there's a, an enemy from the future that has uh, annihilated the human race and there's not too many people left. And so the humans from the future have come travel time back. I think it's, I forget how many years, it doesn't matter. And then are now training people in the past to bring them forward to fight this enemy. I know it sounds confusing, but there's a clip I wanted to share with you that I could not believe it. It's, uh, I'm going to let the clip speak for itself. And remember, in this clip is talking about how they're talking about the enemy and the enemy that's coming against them. And so I'll play the clip now and you tell me what you think here. Really managed to make one very rudimentary wormhole. If we weren't in an extinction level event, we'd still be jumping lab rats. Now we can jump you to 2051 and we can jump you back, period. Every six days, the white spikes disappear. They crawl back into their nests. We call it the Sabbath, their day of rest. And that's when we insert troops. Okay, but why don't we have pictures or... How wild is that? So in this movie that kids, adults, whoever, anybody that's interested in this is going to see and have implanted in their psyche that the enemy rests on the seventh day, goes back into their nest, crawls back into their nest, and has a Sabbath day's rest. And so when it comes time for them to come against us, and they understand that we follow our Father's Sabbath, it's going to be easy for them to equate a moment from this movie to reality that their enemy, the enemy that was in this movie, and their enemy... Both have a Sabbath day's rest. We, we, we crawl back into our nests and, and have a day of rest. This is not by accident, you guys. This is, and actually, this part of the storyline, you didn't even need, it didn't even need to exist. Like, they could have really found any other way of explaining anything, but yet they chose to use this part. To explain the enemy, their common enemy, the enemy against mankind, the enemy that's annihilating the earth. Anyways, I, I just, I thought it was quite interesting. There's all of this, all of this different propaganda, whether it's on the news, whatever the case may be, is definitely grooming the future, whether it be our children or anybody that's watching this propaganda, when it comes to, um, and if you really see it, you guys, all aspects of society and and the what we believe and who we believe in, and because of our belief, what we're not willing to do, and so from that point, you can feel this uh, culminating movement of ideas towards not wanting to have us around you guys I, I can feel it i can i can feel it and and my sister my blood like my actual older sister sent me a news article this morning that there was a mural a george floyd mural i think in boise idaho i might be wrong on the location but it was struck by lightning you guys now come on now and i know that again it very easily dismissed. Oh, the odds are this. There's no, 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 no. The fact that a, a mural was struck and and 
blown down, ripped down. Is our Father saying, enough is enough, you guys. And these signs are for us to show us that He's there and, and He's ready. God's judgment is on us, is upon us right now, brothers and sisters. And it's at this point where He's long-suffering. He, want, he is waiting for that last soul. But the moment that that last soul has decided, used its free-willed choice to pick a side, He is coming back on the clouds and it will be time for final judgment, you guys. So I love you all. I pray you all have an amazing day. Again, I'm not encouraging you to watch any movies. I just wanted to give you a snippet of what um, people are watching and the programming that they're using to prepare us. And these are none of these examples are for you to be scared or have any kind of fear at any time. It's to give you a... a, a idea of the season that we're in and then you 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 can see it you can see it like a storyline playing out and then that storyline has a timeline associated with it you can feel it in your spirit so find jesus christ you guys he's inside of you he's inside of you just call out to jesus christ and he will be there so I love you all. I pray you all have an amazing day. And uh, Father willing, I'll do another one soon. Take care. God bless.